Hi, welcome to this lesson. We are going to solve circle theorems questions from the past papers. I hope you have already watched the video in which I explain the circle theorems and the other one which are a bit easier questions than this. If not, do watch them and then come back and watch this video. Let's start. Question number one. PQ, R and S lie on a circle center O. TP and TQ are tangents to the circle. That means they touch the circle at only one point. Work out the values of W and X. And we have also been given PSQ. We know that PR is the diameter. And the angle opposite the diameter is equal to 90 degrees. So this angle is 90 degrees. Therefore, W will be 90 minus 64, 26 degrees. Next, we have to find X. I hope you remember the circle theorem which states that angle in the center is twice the angle at the circumference. So X is 64 times 12, sorry, times 2 which is 128. Part B, showing all your working, find the value of Y. So we have to find Y here. We know that TP is a tangent to the circle and the angle between the radius and the tangent is 90 degrees. So this angle is 90 degrees and this is 90 degrees. And we already have angle x. To find y, we have to add up all these angles and make it equal to 360. Why 360? Because it's a quadrilateral, four sides. 1, 2, 3, 4. The sum of all the four angles in a quadrilateral is equal to 360 degrees. Therefore, 90 plus 90 plus 128 plus y is equal to 360. This is 308 plus y is equal to 360. Therefore, y is equal to 360 minus 308, 52. Question number 2. A, B, P, and Q lie on the circle center O. Angle A, P, B is 56. Find the value of x. They are both from the same chord A and B. So angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. Therefore x is equal to 56 times 2 which is 112. Next we have to find y. y is also from the same chord and this is the center and this is the angle at the circumference. You can think it that way and y will be 112 divided by 2 which is 56. Or we could have used the other one. Angles in the same segment from a common chord are equal. So as this angle starts from AB and this angle also starts from AB, they are both touching the circumference. We could have worked that also and got that y is equal to 56. Question number 3. A, B, C, D and E lie on the circle. A, B is extended to F. Angle A, E, D is 140 and angle C, B, F is 95. Find the values of W, X and Y. We know that a cyclic quadrilateral in a cyclic quadrilateral the opposite angles equal to 180 therefore angle DEA plus W will equal to 180 so W will be 180 minus 140 which is 40 now we have to find X I hope you have watched my uh, first video on explanation of the circle theorems. If you have, you will know that if you have a cyclic quadrilateral, 
the angle that you have outside is equal to the opposite angle inside the cyclic quadrilateral. So x is equal to 95. Next, we have to find y. From the chord D and C, the angle y is drawn. And from the same chord, this angle here is gone. So y is equal to this angle here. What is this angle here? This is a straight line. So all of these angles together equal to 180. W plus angle DBC plus 95 is equal to 180. W is 40. So angle DBC is equal to 180 minus 95 minus 40, which is 45. This angle is 45, therefore y is also 45. Question number four. The points A, B, C, D, and E lie on the circumference of the circle. Angle D, C, E is 47 and CEA 85. Find the values of W, X, and Y. If you look properly, you will see that this is a cyclic quadrilateral. So in a cyclic quadrilateral, as you know, the opposite angle is equal to 180. So 85 plus W is equal to 180. Therefore, W is equal to 180 minus 85. That will give us 95. To find x, there are two ways to find x. And both the ways are right. Here, if you can see that from the chord AC, the angle AEC is drawn. And from the same chord, angle ADC is drawn. So this is the x here. So x is equal to 85. Or you could have drawn a quadrilateral here and w plus x is equal to 180. That will also have been right. Depends on how you understood the drawing. And x is 85 we found. Now to find y. We have a triangle here. And if we add all the three angles in a triangle, we know it equals to 180. Therefore, to find y, we will subtract from 180, 85 and 47. This will give us 48. So y is 48. Question number 5. J, K, L and M are points on the circumference of a circle with diameter J, L. Let's draw the diameter. And we know that the angle opposite the diameter in a semicircle is equal to 90 degrees. Therefore, this angle is 90 degrees. Let's write it down. Angle JML is equal to 90 degrees. Therefore, angle MJL will equal to 180 minus 90 minus 22, which will give us 68. So this is 68. Angle MJL is equal to MKL. This is a straight line. So angles in a straight line equal to 180. Therefore, this angle here will be 180 minus 104, which is 76. We have a triangle here. We know two angles. To find D, we are going to subtract from an 180, 76, and 68. And that is 36. This is not the only way we could have found it. There's another way also. It depends on what theorem you want to use. I could have found the angle here and then made that angle equal to angle D because of angles in the same segment theorem. So as long as you get the answer and you understand it, 
you can apply any theorems you understand. This brings us to the end of this lesson. I hope the concept of circle theorems is much clearer. Kindly subscribe to my channel, share the video with your friends and do give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.